to open up a new file in AutoCAD, you have a couple of different options. One would be to click this little button right here in your QAT, the Quick Access Toolbar. It looks kind of like a piece of paper. Or we come to the Application button, come into New, and just say Drawing. Or if I click New here, it will automatically do a drawing, not a sheet set. Once you get into opening a new drawing, you will have a few different options here in terms of the template uh, that you're going to work from. The generic way that AutoCAD uh, will open is this one, the ACAD template, the ACAD template. And if you've just you know, installed the software, this is the one it's generally going to open. So that's the one I'll pick right now. I'll say open. And I'm working in an educational version, so I have to say continue here. If you've downloaded the software free from the Autodesk website, that will happen to you too, so you just have to say continue. Okay, so here's my brand new drawing. It happens to be in uh, the demo workspace that I had set up before, so that's why I have these toolbars here. Remember that I can change that. And mine says drawing two because I already had a generic drawing one open. So if I don't go in and do a save as and change the name, I will have drawing one, two, three, four, and so on. Now that I've opened my new, very generic AutoCAD drawing, I might want to consider what are my drawing units? You know, what am I going to be working in? There's a couple of ways to get to that information. And one way would be to go up to the application button come down to Drawing Utilities and check Units. When I do that, I'll get the Drawing Units menu here and I'll see that the default generic uh, template is going to Decimal. Now, for many of you out there, that's probably exactly what you want. Um, I happen to work in the uh, architecture and design industry, so I frequently want to change this not from uh, or not to be in decimal, but to be in architectural. But you'll see that you also have engineering, fractional, and scientific available to you. So if you want to change that, you can just simply come in and pick architectural, for example. Whatever you're working in, you will have the option to change the precision. And this will completely depend on the kind of work you do. Uh, you know, if you're working on a large scale project, you know, maybe you only need to be, you know, to a quarter inch or, you know, half an inch. If you're doing something more precise uh, with finer measurements, you know, maybe you want to be at a sixteenth. So that's going to completely depend on, you know, the kind of work you're doing. I'm not going to worry about the degrees right now, but we can certainly go in and change it, for example, from decimal degrees to two degree minutes seconds or radians, depends what you're doing. And then down here for the scale, we can change it to be unitless or go inches, feet, miles, and so on. You have a lot of options here, um, all the way up to parsecs. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that at inches for what I'm doing. Okay, so I will just say, okay. And it's not really that anything on my screen changed, but now when I would type, there's a very, very big difference between putting in measurements in decimal versus architectural, so that's very important. If I want to go into units again, I could go up to the application button, or I can actually just start typing. I don't have to click in the command line. Anytime I type, it will just automatically go down at the bottom of my screen in that command line right here. So I'm gonna type in the word units, enter, and that same menu will pop up. So you can get to it either way. Say okay. Now, if I had wanted, you know, automatically to have that open up, so I didn't have to, you know, think and change that. If I opened up a new drawing, I could choose a different template. So if I go up here and say new and drawing, I could pick one of these other options. And in my situation, I could pick this tutorial dash arch option right here that would be an option for architectural say open and continue and that's just opening me to a generic d size layout which we're not going to worry about right now 
But if I went back to the model space and if I checked the units, you would see that this is an architectural and it's the imperial architectural. That's what the I is for. So I have, you know, the length is an architectural, the angle is degree minutes seconds, and so on. Okay, so I'll say okay. So just be aware that AutoCAD um, has different templates that you can open, uh, and some are going to be set up for you better than others. In a different video, I'll talk about how you can actually save a template of your own if you want to get um, a little bit more specific and you know really customize the software again, um, as we've done in other ways.